So the flow into the river is dictated by what happens in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, basically. So it's snowmelt um, and then precipitation patterns. And so as we saw with the Calgary flood and these other events, uh, they can really trigger these large high flow events. And so it's, the prediction is, is that there'll be declines in, in the snowmelt occurring in the glaciers. And so then with time, climate change will cause reduced flow coming into Lake Diefenbaker. And so that would mean that uh, there is less loading of the nutrients and things like that coming in. There's also less uh, particulate matter, um, turbidity or murky water that would reduce the light to the plants living in the water. Um, and so those are the things that we know uh, promote algal blooms. And so you might have heard of microcystin, uh, the city of Toledo, that's why they had to close down their drinking water supplies last summer, was because of these algal blooms.